Hello and welcome back YouTube. It is October 5th, 2023. And today is the day my rent is due. By the way, it's 145. I'm on my way to work. I'll probably actually get there on time. I did actually have the foresight to um, check Google Maps on the way out the door. And instead of fighting with my iPhone, which half the time I go to check Google Maps, I've either uninstalled it to make space to enable me to export videos with iMovie, or I've offloaded it. Either way, it's a time-consuming thing for me to try to re-download it and view the traffic. Now, this time I actually had the foresight to look at it on Obama Phone 3, which while it doesn't have service, it's got very fast Wi-Fi at my home. So, uh, at least two minutes ago, more or less, um, there was no traffic on the 202 going into the stack. About to see if that's going to hold <laughs> between the time I, I got out the door and the time that I actually get to the intersection. So, uh, lately, I've been taking Sky Harbor Boulevard, just going down on the 143 south from here and just going completely through the airport, Sky Harbor Boulevard to um, the, the exit that puts you on to the beginning of Buckeye Road. And that's been a pretty functional way to work. Uh, been a pretty functional way to get to work. It gets me there um, with, with, with minimal delays, but I do feel like the freeway route to the exit there for uh, Washington, Jefferson, and Sky Harbor Circle, although it's labeled as Washington, Jefferson, and Car Rental Center. That does seem to be the, the most effective route if I don't get stuck in track of approaching Mini Stack. Speaking of the Mini Stack, I noticed this a few weeks ago in Google Maps, and it absolutely cracked me up that it's listed in Google Maps this way. But in Google Maps, the mini stack is listed as a sculpture. Thank you, ADOT, for the fine modern art display that I'm hoping I don't get stuck looking at too now. Today is the day that my rent is actually due without me incurring light fees or issues. And I woke up to a text message from my property manager log. I forget exactly what it said, but something about, hey, don't forget your rent is due today, or I need to get your rent today, blah, blah, blah. And I, I'm, I'm fortunate that he's a very reasonable property manager. Because um, I'm not sure what time I woke up. I want to say around noon-ish. And, and the reality is, right at this moment in time, I don't have enough money to cover it. I'm reasonably close, but I don't have it. And, and that's that's a problem. On the fifth of the month, like, rent should already be paid. It shouldn't be, oh shit, I don't have enough money. So, definitely some adjustments need to be made to my uh, income. And I can't say to my lifestyle, I couldn't possibly be living really any cheaper than I am. Adjustments need to be made to my income. Now, I would have been fine had I didn't get sick last weekend and worked those two shifts at Factor. I would have had no problem. I could have paid my rent yesterday and the day before. But I, I can't really predict or control when I get sick. In case you missed it when I mentioned it earlier, I did have at 1 a.m. Friday morning, Thursday night, uh, when I was supposed to be getting up, at 4.45 to get ready to go to work at Factor. 102 degree fever. So going into work absolutely wasn't even an option. So I am hitting a little bit more traffic than what the app showed. Uh, and by the app, I mean Google Maps with the traffic view on. I have any more traffic than it was showing, but this is still not bad. Now, of course, every time I get hung in this lane as stop and go, and the three lanes to the left moving just fine, I just realized that this is one of those moments where one more lane would make a difference. And of course,
course, the uh, anti-car types. And don't get me wrong, I'm very pro-public transit, but those that view public transit, they, they like to think the solution is public transit to the exclusion of motor vehicle infrastructure. Um, one more lane, bro, is sort of a, a, a negative meme saying, oh, it wouldn't fix it, wouldn't fix it. But there's clearly a pinch point here. And it has largely to do with traffic going north on the 51. Now, as you watch, we all, all that slowdown and stop and go was to get on this one lane overpass. This is where it needs to be two lanes. And then as you see, right here, it splits into two. And there's no congestion going to the right, and there's no congestion going to the left. There's just simply a pinch point between where that one lane splits off from the 202 to where it splits into two ramps. One, even though it's labeled east, that goes south, and one that goes north. Seriously, hey Don, is anybody watching? Like, I realize it would it'd be a bit of an ordeal to widen that overpass. 24th Street on ramp to allow two lanes to flow there, but two lanes flowing there. Oh, and eliminate the exit only lane at 24th Street. That's unnecessary. There's so much problem with that exit only lane on 24th Street. A lot of people get into it. In fact, I think I was into it and had to merge out of it. Um, a lot of people get into it and don't realize that that's not going to get them to the mini stack and they uh, merge out of it at the last second. And by that not being Street, but rather a continuous lane with two lanes splitting off at the mini stack. I believe it honestly solved that that congestion. Now, is it going to have it solved at 4 and 5 p.m.? No. But at that point, there's congestion in every lane going into the mini stack. But it'll solve the problem of that lane congesting when the other lanes are not congested. So I was talking about uh, my uh, short text conversation with my property manager this morning. I just texted him and I, I didn't tell him I don't know the money. That's, that's honestly kind of embarrassing. It's a situation I shouldn't have let happen. It just kind of is what it is, that's where I'm at right now. I just told him, hey, I, I work late tonight, which is true. I mean, I get off at 10.30, I could bring him that money order at uh, you know 11.30 and it would still be within the day that he wants the payment, but the reality is that Lon goes to bed around the time the sun goes down. So he doesn't want me knocking on his door at 11.30 at night. So I, I just say, hey, I, I, I work late, can I bring it to you early tomorrow morning? To which he said yes. I do appreciate that I have a reasonable property manager. Very few people who rent apartments are that lucky. As I said, I slept until noon. My agenda for tonight is to pull an all-nighter. I gotta get my laundry done. Absolutely gotta get my laundry done. I found the source of the cat pee smell in the living room and Sambo was peeing on a pile of blankets that were in there. Of course, as soon as I removed the pile, oh, and a pillow, large pillow. Uh, as soon as I removed the pile of blankets and large pillow to the near my back door in the kitchen so that I could hurry up and try to get it. Um, out and laundered and there's been so many days where I've been so close to doing laundry and just something came up for some reason I just didn't get it done shortly after I moved it I mean shortly like within 20 minutes I forget what night it was it was like the day day after I set up my computer in the living room so it's, it's been a little over a week we proceeded to pee on the couch uh, the, the futon where the blankets and the pillow were so yeah, that's fabulous. I'm not quite sure what to do about that. If my money situation was better, and my credit situation was better, and Ikea still sold the Bedinge line of futons, I would just order another damn mattress for it and just toss this one. This is kind of filthy anyway. But money is actually relevant because they don't, they don't sell it anymore. Now, sometimes I can find discontinued new old stock for Ikea stuff on eBay, but yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out some way to clean that thoroughly and replace it. I haven't figured that out. Is that gonna get done in the laundry? No, probably not. Um, hopefully I can find some products 
over at Petco or Walmart that'll uh, not only help get the smell out, but dissuade him from continuing to uh, use that space. Also, hopefully I can get some cat litter and change out the cat box, but at this point I literally do not have enough money for my cat litter. And that, <laughs> that also really sucks because the cat box is fucking disgusting right now. But hey, the good news is rent will be paid in the morning, so one major stressor off my mind. On that note, I'm actually to work on time, so I'm not going to continue to ramble in my car. Thank you for coming along on the drive and for watching. I'll be back with more of uh, my thoroughly exciting life that everybody can't help but tune into on YouTube.